Hey guys, I'm Justin Skaggs, and this is the E-Lacrosse Question of the Week. Brought to you by Jimalax.com, the International Lacrosse Mesh Headquarters, and Style and Strings, custom pockets for an individual player. Alright guys, today's tutorial is going to be all about pinching your lacrosse in. This is a subject we haven't really hit on, but it is pretty predominant out there in the stick tech world, so we got to make sure we're doing it right. We've got a few questions here. i got one from Craig, the assistant coach in Upper Midland Lacrosse. He just got a torque. When he got it, it was pinched too much. I assume he couldn't get the ball out. He wants to know how to unpinch it. We have a young gentleman named Brad who asked the same question. And uh, down here, a gentleman, all he sent me his name was Bo. He wants to know how to pinch a head in general. So I'm going to go ahead, I'll show you guys how to pinch a head, and I'll show you guys how to reverse it. But before we even start, it's important to talk about the regulations. Uh, the NCAA is currently working on a regulation for 2010 to make the uh, minimum width of a stick 3 inches, which is currently not, not the case. And this is going to be a huge, huge uh, problem for all the manufacturers like STX and Brine, because a lot of their sticks already uh, come out of the factory with a much uh, thinner neck than that. But as things stand right now, that's not the case. But nobody wants to pinch their head, then have to go back and unpinch it. So we're going to use the three inch mark. Now, the top of your stick can be between six and a half and ten inches. Now, unless you're using one of these guys, you don't want ten inches. So we're just going to go for six and a half. And as I said before, with the new NCAA regulations pending for 2010, we got to make sure that this guy is three inches. Now, if you're going to play in high school, that's not going to affect you. Even if it passes, it won't affect you. But just for demonstration's sake, that's what we're going to shoot for. Alright, so you want a pinched head, no big deal. Players do it all the time. You see, always see heads out on the field that aren't the way that they came from the manufacturer. So how do they get there? Well, there's a few options. One, you can always bake it in the oven. It's just like mama used to make. Two, you can always put it on your shaft and uh, bake it right over the burner. It's kind of like making s'mores. Three. If the head has a weak plastic, usually the older sticks, you can actually take a hair dryer on high and get at it. I wish I had your hair. Now, I would not advise any of these methods. Besides the fact that they're all pretty much dangerous, except for the hair dryer, unless you're doing it in the bathtub, um, they can melt your heads. Now, if you use method one or two that involve the stove, there's a very good chance that you're gonna melt your plastic. You'll see some bubbling or uh, even worse, that plastic uh, pan I showed you, sometimes they stick right to the bottom of it, your head's gone. And if you're gonna use the hair dryer and you're fortunate enough to have it work in the first place, you're gonna be sitting there for quite a long time. So if you don't wanna do these, then what do you wanna do? Well. There's always one more method that we haven't talked about, boiling them. I've tried all the methods we have talked about, and nine times out of ten, they'll work, but that one time, you lose a head. Boiling, I've never had a problem. You just gotta watch what you're doing, you gotta make sure you're doing it right. Now, first things first, before we boil our head, before we even get into that, we gotta start tying this thing off and making sure that it's gonna be pinched the way we want it to. Let's pinch this guy. The fastest way I've found over the years to do it is to take the lip of your stick, put it between your knees, lace your string through it, and as you pinch with your legs, tie off with the top part of the string. Now there's really no uniform way to uh, put these knots in or any uh, particularly better or worse place to put these strings. I'll even wrap mine around sometimes like you just saw there. 
square knots all over the place, right over left, left over right. If you've seen the prior tutorials, you know what I'm talking about. If not, check them out. All right. There we go. Much more narrow than your average 88. So we have our stick tied off. It's time to do work. Now, this is when the fire and the boiling water comes into play. So instead of saying don't try this at home because otherwise you wouldn't be watching my video, I'm going to say get your parents permission. You're going to be using their pots, you're going to be using their pans, you're going to be destroying their kitchen. Go ahead, get the permission and just get their help because if they're helping you and it messes up, I can't yell at you quite as bad. So let's get this thing underway. Throw your stick in the sink, round side down so it fits well on the drain and uh, stop your drain off so that none of your boiling water gets through. Now we're going to measure how much water it actually takes to submerge this stick before we start boiling it. There's nothing worse than having uh, only half your stick submerged and then it won't actually pinch correctly. Alright, well my water's pretty much uh, on point here. We have three of the four pots coming to a small boil, which is what you want. Always make sure to use oven mitts, kids. Now we're just going to let this thing sit and broil like a lobster for a little bit. Make sure we get all the water in here. Now, it's important for me to mention, if some of your water evaporated when you were boiling it, uh, you can go ahead and put hot tap water in just to make sure it rises over the rest of the stick. Now I timed this for you guys just to see how long it would actually last. So I gave this guy over 30 minutes in the boiling hot water. The water's still a little bit warm, still steaming a little bit. But I think we pretty much got all the uh, benefit out of it that we can. So just take it out, shake it off. Throw it in your th freezer for about 5 to 10 minutes to make sure it's completely cooled down and that the plastic is set. Now when that comes out of there, we should be good to go and you should have a nice pinched head. Alright. He's been in there for roughly 10 minutes. Cold to the touch. And the string's actually frozen. It's time to just pop these guys off. And as you do this, you'll see your stick pop out a little bit and lose a little bit of the form you just gave it. But for the most part, that's it. That is one thin aviator. So you tried and you failed. It happens. But I got a little trick that might save it. Might save you uh, the $50 down at uh, your local lacrosse store. Take your stick, another piece of scrap string, this ain't gonna survive either. Tie it off somewhere in the sidewall. You can even tie it off in one of the sidewall holes if you want, but usually I like to get it somewhere in the plastic. Just like that. Now, Take a ceramic coffee mug that's wider than the diameter of a ball, stick it in your lacrosse stick, take the other string, loop it through the handle, back through the sidewall on the other side. Take the string and pull it down, make sure it's taut enough that this isn't going to slip out, and tie this off on the other side. Now go back, repeat the entire process I just showed you. Boil the water, boil the stick, let the water cool down but do it with this coffee mug in it and it should give it some of its form back. Now if that doesn't work, I'm sorry, pinching heads is a risky business. As always, I'm your host Justin Skaggs and this has been the e-lacrosse question of the week. Please, please, please enter your questions to the uh, blog spot below or else I can't keep doing my job. You don't want to get me fired now, do you? Alright, until next time, have a good day and keep laxing.